Hey everyone, Father Mark here. Happy December. I just want to take a few minutes and update you on some of the stuff going on in this very busy season of Advent here in the parish. I'm not going to go through everything because there's a ton of things happening. Um, we'll do that in future videos. But right now, just to update you on a couple little things happening and draw your attention to them. The first is our Giving Tree program. I want to thank all of you who have donated so generously to our Giving Tree program over the last week, week and a half. Uh, the results, the, in the, the donations have been amazing. Currently, we have raised $92,596 towards our goal. Thank you all for that. It's just astounding your generosity and your concern to bring a very Merry Christmas to people in our own diocese in need. You may be aware, though, that our goal is $103,000, or just over $103,000. Uh, the way we reach that number of $103,000 is we are helping this year um, 2,065 people. And we wish to give each of them a $50 gift card. So 2,065 people times $50 gift card each is our $103,000, $250,000 goal. As I mentioned, we're over $92,000, but we still need $10,654, so just under $11,000 to go. Um, so I'm coming to you today to ask you to please consider supporting the Giving Tree if you've not yet done that. It's very easy to do. You can go to our website, catholicsofpleasant.org. And um, just page on down here, and you'll find the Giving Tree link uh, right here. You've got all sorts of information about the Giving Tree, the people we're helping, all that sort of stuff. And you can just see here the Donate Now button, and that will bring you right to our Tithely page, where you can go to the General Fund and the drop-down menu and choose Giving Tree, complete the rest of the form, and your donation is there. So thank you so much for your consideration towards um, helping us make the Giving Tree program an amazing success. Uh, someone asked why it is that the deadline is so early for the Giving Tree. Well, it's early because we have to wire the money to the companies and have them send us the gift cards that we get at a bulk rate. So we get, we get a good deal on the gift cards. And then we need to divide the gift cards into their families, get those gift cards to the nine different parishes we're helping. The parish needs to get them to the families and the families need to be able to go shopping before Christmas arrives. So that's why the deadline is so tight this year. But even with that, we're going to extend our deadline to this coming Sunday, December 4, in the hopes that we raise this extra $10,500 so that we can make sure everybody gets a $50 gift card. I was asked, what happens if we go over our goal for the year? And my answer was, when we go over our goal for this year, anything over and above that amount, we will put aside and save for next year's giving tree. So we'll always go to people in need at Christmas. So I thank you very much for your consideration of supporting the Giving Tree program right here online. Or if you are not comfortable donating online, you can simply bring by cash or a check and drop it off here at the rectory. We'll be happy to handle it in that way. So again, thank you for your consideration. Then a reminder for you that this coming Sunday evening, December 4 at 7.30, Jeanette Sullivan Whitaker will be with us to prevent her ad present her Advent Graces program. Um, I've looked at the script for Advent Graces. It's beautiful. It's going to be just a, a lovely, I would say maybe hour, hour, 10 minute program of prayer and scripture, meditation, reflection, and of course music on the beauty of this season. So please come join us and enter into the Advent season. And then just to point out for you, you'll hear this at church this coming Sunday as well, that next Thursday, December 8, is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. It is a holy day of obligation, so we'll have our normal holy day of obligation mass schedule. That is to say, at St. Augustine Church, we'll have masses at 8.30 in the morning and 7 o'clock in the evening. And over at St. Elizabeth Seton, we'll have mass at 12.10 in the afternoon and 6 o'clock in the evening for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. So that's sort of what's happening in the next week here at the Catholic Community Pleasanton. Uh, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to be with me. Uh, continue to have a blessed, holy, and peaceful Lent, and we will see you all soon. God bless. Did I say Lent? I meant Advent. Have a blessed, holy, and peaceful Advent. Easter is coming. <laughs>